sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, this year is going to be a, a little bit different uh, program from my perspective is I'm going to spend at least a few minutes every day going over the psychological part of this business. Uh, as you know, uh, Mark Douglas moved here to Tucson in 1996 when he was writing Trading in the, uh, Trading in the Zone. And uh, he wrote that book for the next four years here in the office. And then they moved to uh, Scottsdale to live up on the lake up there. And uh, we remained friends up until the time he passed away about five years ago. But I was in touch with him every single day, seven days a week. And, of course, during the time we worked together here, I learned so much about the psychology of this. Now, one of the reasons I'm bringing this up, at the beginning of the year, everybody starts setting goals. You know, I'm going to lose 70 pounds, 80 pounds. You know, I'm going to stop smoking, whatever it happens to be. But the, the easiest way to do that when you're thinking of trading is you should, start, you should not set a goal for a dollar amount. And that's Mark was really adamant about this. And the reason why he said that is, he says, if you're thinking of a dollar amount to buy a Porsche or a college education or whatever it happens to be, that's going to be the focus. It's going to be right there in front of you. And that's not where you want it to be. You want it to be behind the billboard. The billboard should say, do the right thing and trade to what you see, and don't worry about anything else. The money will be there. When you put it back behind the billboard, the money will be there to buy the thing that you want. So don't set a dollar amount. He was really adamant about that, and he told me many examples. And I, when he was interviewing people here through the years, uh, I heard the same thing going on. Gee, I wanted to buy this house. And a perfect example of that is my very dear friend of 20 years, Mr. Tom Ugard. Tom wanted to buy a villa in the south of uh, Spain in Malaga, Malaga uh, oh, about seven or eight years ago when prices were really cheap. And uh, he was really, really big into trading. And he was big then, but he's much bigger now. But he was making a great deal of money, and he was trying to make the money to pay a million bucks, million and a half bucks for that villa. And it ended up costing him about $3 million. But what happened was by the time he was ready to buy the villa, he had corrected that mistake. And he was able to buy the villa real easily. So I bring that to your attention for what it's worth. You may not use it. You may use it. I don't know. But all I know is that's one thing that uh, you should do is to, to focus on doing the right thing. And the money will be there, you know, for you when the time is coming. Because, you know, trading is not an easy business. It's simple. But it's not easy, and that's what you have to do is you have to take baby steps. Learning to trade takes several years, and you're going to have to go through a lot of psychological stuff to get it right. And I, I, one thing I highly recommend traders that are you know, just getting started or have been trading for a while and just getting ready to become professionals or trading full-time is to get a copy, a hard copy of Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas and read two pages a day of that book. And by the end of the year, you'll have read the book two and a half times. And uh, as a matter of fact, the book that we have here uh, in Tucson has so many notations and underlines in it. There is not one word in that book that doesn't have a notation or an underline or highly marked with either a page marker or a uh, one of those pens, those color pens that do that. Because if you read it enough, it's gonna it's gonna sink into you. Because you got to realize that this is a it's a fun business. It's a great business to be in. But by golly, you got to focus on the middle part of the trading. That's where the real money lies. Uh, 
Now, let's get back to the, I uh, hope that uh, solves that little problem, but we're going to be doing more each day of the stuff. I've got a whole stack of things here that Mark had given me over the years that I can go through and share with you the stories behind them and stuff. So it will be interesting to see how you simulate the mental part of this because it's very, very important. And believe me, folks, I go through the same kind of stuff that you folks do. If you don't think you do, you we're all alike. There's really no difference in what's going on. Okay, one other thing. On a sad note, I was told today that uh, Bud Rolf, who used to be on the show here at TFNN, I got to meet him a couple times over the years. He passed away, and uh, we're, a, we're a nice guy. Uh, when he retired here from TFNN, he had just his his daughter had just had triplets, and we used to get pictures of those all the time. I wonder what those little girls look like now, but uh, that was really exciting to see that happen. But by the age of seventy, boy, that that's pretty young. And also, we, we need to send some white light out to two people. One is that football player. I understand. I saw on the news today that uh, almost died on the field yesterday. I I didn't. I don't watch football too much, but when I when I saw that, I said, "Wow, that's amazing!" And then also, my very, very dear friend, uh, Steve Shapiro, guy who's always had my back for forty some years, uh, is really knocking on the door at St. Peter's Place. So, we need to send some white light out for him. He's been sick for quite a while, and uh, hopefully, he's going to get better. And uh, we'll do our best to, to move him along the right way. Okay, now the chart that we posted here comes right directly out of the newsletter that we sent out on uh, Friday. Well, we sent it out Saturday morning, actually, to show you this is what we would be expecting, given where the patterns were coming into the holiday season. And as you can see, uh, and I'll put that other chart up. Oh, there is no chart up there? Well, let's put the other one up there and make sure everybody can see it. Sorry for that. I'll get it up here so we'll be able to see it right here. This is the this is where we were just a little while ago, and then of course it's continued to go uh, a whole lot lower. So bear with me here one second, and we'll get this up here to take a look at it. But we were expecting it to open right or, or get up to around that 3,900 level, and as you can see, uh, we we spent uh, quite a bit of time um, Monday night. On Globex, you see we got up to 3,900 again, and then right after the opening, we got up to 3,900 again, and then we tried it one other time a little bit later, and now we're breaking down below the lows that we made back on the 28th, and that that's why this is going to be very important, this ne next segment, because if you'll remember the last time I was on the show here, which was uh, Tuesday, I took a Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off for a much-needed uh, break. Uh, really helpful uh, to me. I had some things that I had to do um, that didn't require or that had to require my total focus and not being able to do anything in the trading environment. So if if we pay just a, sec a segment of attention here, because this is cycle related, and this is why I want to bring this to your attention. We're going to have to do it at the break because it's a little bit longer uh, segment here. It, re it relates to the uh, the trade that we were looking at in uh, Tesla, if you remember the buy at 109, the buy in uh, Apple at uh, 126, and also Amazon at 80. Uh, and uh, th these are the ones that we have to talk about because what we're seeing here is we're seeing a cycle failure. And when we get back from the break, I wanna go through that and why I got into this cycle business uh, a long, long time ago and why I think it's so very, very important because it gives an indication that where the market might be going. Let's take a little break. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN Education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks, I uh, posted the chart here now of the natal chart from March the 5th of 2009. As you can see here, uh, all of these planets are lined up in the two houses near the top. Okay, that, that that just means they're all lined up together like ducks in a row. That's what that means, okay? Now, if you remember, I said we were having something similar to that happening. It was called a stellium that uh, Shane Smolian talked to us about. And I'm going to print it the one that looks like uh, where we were on the 28th of uh, December. I want to get this up here, and you'll be able to see where we are. It's not nearly as powerful. You see, these are in, in three houses, basically. Whereas with the January 5th, excuse me, March 5th, they were all lined up in one particular house, which is just incredibly unusual. But this in itself is the fact that we have all this area here means they're still lined up quite a bit. That's what we're looking at right here. Remember, folks, when I when. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I tell you, when I call talk about Isaac Newton, I just don't uh, I, I just can't. <laughs> I wonder sometimes why I do this. Anyway, let's about the astrology part folks i bring this astrology part up because this is this got me interested in it a long time ago was this particular uh, thing like this okay dr miller got me started back in november of, of 1986 he started showing me these things now i went down to florida and i spent two uh, about nine weeks there uh, going over all this stuff, and that's when I wrote the book, Astro Cycles, A Trader's Viewpoint. But I was very difficult for me to understand this because being the old Catholic boy from 12 years of Jesuit training, you know, we were told that astrologers were instruments of the devil. I'm still not sure about that. But anyway, the that's that's that I was coming in with a negative thing, so I had to be had to be proven. And so Jim Twentyman living, you know, he was in California, and uh, he, he no he Jimmy was still in New York he he didn't come out until I till I moved to the big house up on the hill that was in ninety 
see, that was in 89. 89 is when I did, that was a few years later. But what we did was we had Neil Michelson down at Astro uh, Cycles down in uh, Astro, what was the name of it? Oh, I can't remember. It's Astro something. It's, it no longer exists. It's been bought out by somebody else. It was down in San Diego, but he had all the dates of all the stuff astrological we had the dates of the stuff that things happened in the market and what we tried to do was to match the things that were on the dates that would match with the market the way we started off with was major major lows in the market let me show you the one that really got my interest and once i saw this i said uh oh i said now uh, this this i can understand so all i need to do now is to bring it up and i know i saved it here here it is. It's right here in the front of me. Let's get here. Now, you might be – this is right out of one of the pages of one of my book. I'm just going to show you how it all got started because I, it, I got down to the point where I'm an ABCD person, folks. Uh-oh. Let me see if that's right. Yeah, there it is. This is the – you'll notice here this was 1974, October of 74. You can see here a lot of these things are uh, right around the same time in October. These are all conjunctions or oppositions. That's what these were right here. This happened again in December of 1974. You can see here, there was the first one right here, and here was the second one coming in right here. We made a double bottom here when we had these same patterns. Now, what we did was we said, okay, that was a major bottom in the stock market. Let's go back and look. Every time we had as many of these things lined up, was it a major high or low in the market? And so we did. And over a period of 150 years, I think is what we were looking at it at the time. I mean, it was it was right about 80 percent of the time. So that was the focus of how we started is looking at conjunctions and oppositions and things like that. And that's the, the main thing that, uh, you know, you're what you're what you're trying to do is to get a timing thing to going. But after going through all of these things and looking at them for, you know, many, many years and I've been doing this for so long, folks. I'm I'm here I'm in this business to make a buck. I don't care esoterically whether this stuff works or not. I'd like to see that if it did, but I'm an ABCD person. You know, ABCD is what works for me. And and I'll it, look how simple it is. You don't have to do any wave count to get that number we had up there at 390. And look and not only that, but look at this. If we get get to the other part of this here in just a second here, and and I wanted to show you this because there were two parts of this. This was the uh, chart of the NASDAQ this morning, and it was doing exactly the same thing that the S&P was doing, making that giant ABCD. Uh, and this is not a rocket science. You can see, you know, what you're looking at right here. That's just a simple ABCD. And now we've taken these lows out or pretty close to it. So that's what you're watching. But if you added just one other simple thing to it, a little timing cycle, you know, going from high to low and high to low. And just do something simple like that. That's right of, out of Hearst books, you know, the profit magic of stock transaction timing. You're going to come up with that same thing that maybe this is going to be a high. Do you know that's going to be the high or not? No, but look what happens up here. This hourly chart, folks, that thing didn't go anywhere. It went exactly to the ABCD. Well, when it goes exactly to the ABCD, then, well, hmm, that may be it may mean something. And that's why it's so very important to stick with what you know, and that's what I do. That's how I got started into astrology. I have many of my guests here. I bring them in because they are really, really smart, and they've, they've transcended anything that I ever wanted to do in this, and they're very good at, at what they do. And the thing is, remember, folks, on December the 28th, Norm Winsky said there's going to be a big bounce in the market, and there was. It was a huge bounce. So... The main thing that we want to do here is to hold on just a second. I got to turn this scam call off. There we go. Uh, but if we if we stop and think uh, what happened on that day, remember we were looking to buy Tesla at 109, and Tesla went from 109 to 124, and now it's at 108. You see the failure there? Apple, and I'll I'll bring you the chart up of Apple because this is another one that is really fading badly, and I want to get it up here to show you because this is the 382 of the long-term low way back on December, excuse me, in, in December of 2019. I want to get this up here so you'll be able to see it. There's that 382 comes in right here. You see the ABCD target on here? That's down quite a bit lower, isn't it? 
So the fact that we rallied here in Apple from 126 up to 131, and boom, we're right back below it again, tells you that that cycle is failing. That's what cycle people call high translation. In other words, the market had a significant bottom. It rallies up a little bit, and then what does it do? It rolls over and keeps going lower. Folks, this is really bearish what we're looking at on here. I know the people are trying to weave a really nice thing about high earnings and better valuations and stuff, but be real careful of that because it's going to be real interesting to see if this stuff is going to uh, continue to go lower. And we've got a great way of trading it, folks. You know, when these things break, they have a tendency to rally. Yes, Johnny, I see you waving your hand back there, my friend, and you're doing a good job last year, and I'm sure you're going to start doing together again this year. So let's uh, let's keep in mind that uh, little Johnny is a little affected by 382 trading. And, and I'll cover some of these when we get back from the break because we had three really great uh, trades that we posted last night to get ready for today that actually uh, worked pretty well. So we'll be right back. Pay a few bills here for TFNN. And so we'll be right back, folks. Stay with us, please. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, what I've done here is I posted two charts. Uh, one, uh, the latest one, of course, is the one from uh, the uh, right before New Year's. On the 30th was showing you the lower tops. Now, all I'm doing when I'm doing these charts and putting the patterns together is measuring the date, the, the number of days up and the number of days down to see if they match with the ABCD. I'm still going to do the trade, but I might not necessarily um, 
uh, do it right away because of the, the time count. In other words, if there's 12 bars going up, I try to find 12 bars going up on the other side. But if I only get to 10 bars and I'm sitting right at the fit point, I have to do that because, you know, mathematics precedes uh, geometry. And so that's why uh, I use those numbers to come in because that's when I know if we go 1% beyond those numbers, that's what my risk factor is going to do. And that's what keeps me, you know, in the game because I do lose some. Now, we had three really great trades uh, earlier today. One was the S&P. We also had a crude oil trade. Crude oil uh, looked like it was going to make a new high. It took out the highs of the last few days and then broke, rallied right to the 382 retracement and then dropped $2,000. Uh, I just posted the chart on the E-mini S&P where we had a 382 retracement up there at 3860. Drops another 30 handles to the downside. And then we had the euro trade that went up to that 106 level and has dropped 60 points uh, to the downside. Those were the ones that we posted ahead of time to you know, show you what we're looking at because that's what we use as a method of uh, you know, going into uh, why we're seeing these things. So anyway, the reason why I do the thing, I'm going to get back on the astrology kick here for just a minute because of the fact that um, Albert Einstein, I don't know if you folks know this or not, he was really big into astrology, and the reason why he was able to prove his theory of relativity, rel relativity was because of the fact of the relationship of Mercury at a certain time. I don't know, it was a super conjunction that only happened once every, I don't remember, but if he missed that time and it was in Africa, it was when it was occurring that he could prove that the convexity of the, the, the solar system, whatever that theory of relativ relativity is, he had to have that to work, and, and it worked. And it was mainly, you know, an astrological event. And so I remember watching a uh, YouTube, spe not a YouTube, a special on TV about him and the fact how he had to, to prove his theory of relativity, which many people couldn't understand for many years, and now a lot of people do. I am not one of them. I understand one thing, boys and girls, A, B equals C, D. Now, what I'm going to post now did not work, and I want to give you a, a really good heads up on that because, boy, it sure looked like it was going to work. Uh, early in the morning, but by golly, it didn't. Let's get this up here, and that here is a natural gas. You can see here, uh, we were right at that 1.61 expansion at 4.07, and uh, it rallied up to 4.14 earlier in the evening, and now it's broken uh, all the way down to um, 3.95, and that tells us that that's not working. you got to stand aside, and that was one that, that just didn't work. So you have four. Uh, well, three worked, one didn't. That's you know the bottom line of uh, what trading is, uh, frankly, all about. So that's it. I don't think I posted the gold chart yet because that was our trade of the day. Let me get that one up, and I wanted to get that here. Hold on a second. Here it is right here, and you'll be able to see this one as clear as a bell. Hold on one second, and we'll get it up and running here. Oh, I have an announcement here about our guest coming up here this week. Uh, tomorrow... Uh, we're going to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights on uh, Thursday. We're going to have a new a new uh, f a person, folks, Mike Moore, M-O-H-R, out of uh, Tennessee, Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, got him as a referral from uh, some of our, from my, my friends in Chicago that have been in this business a long time. So you got to watch this guy because he's, he's really good and he's very entertaining. And he's going to really give us a good indication of where these oil markets are going to go. Uh, and that's what his specialty is. He does quite a few other things, but his real specialty is the oil business. He was a knife trader in the well, in crude oil pit in the, years ago in, in New York. And uh, he knows a lot of the people, you know, from that area in the business. And so he's uh, he's really got some great stuff. So Mike Moore will be our guest on Thursday. And we are going to have a special mystery guest on Friday, Shane Smullion, thewolftrader.com. Now let's take a look at this, this uh, price of the gold here. You'll notice the three drive to a top pattern we have here at 1855. That's what we said, sell it at 1855. Risk seven dollars. It broke twenty-five dollars and then went back up and touched that high again. Twenty-five dollars up, twenty-five dollars down, and now it's breaking again. It down to I think we're down forty uh, thirty eighteen forty-five was the last time I saw. So this is a very interesting pattern. This is the same pattern that we're seeing in the silver market. It did you know did exactly the same thing, but silver is lagging behind a little bit. It's not nearly as as powerful as gold is during this time. Folks, 
take a look down here at this 382 level down here. It's going to be rising a little bit because we've got a higher high in here. But if we do get a 382 retracement in gold here sometime in these next few days of the start of this year, boy, get ready to buy it because, boy, there is a really bullish charts are longer term gold and silver. They really are. I mean, look look how they went up and just never gave anything back other than just a uh, uh, you know, a few 382 retracement. That's really bullish action. So, you know, I, I trade the patterns both sides, but, you know, I'd really like to be a buyer down there at uh, at that 382 retracement, which would come in around uh, 1775 based on the new high that we made today. So keep that one on the watch list because that's going to be a really big one uh, from our perspective uh, to make something, you know, really working, uh, you know, really spectacularly well longer term and that's what we're, we're hoping to do here. I wanted to bring other one other one to you today because this was happening on Friday, uh, and I happen to not be here on that day, but I wanted to bring it to your attention again because I missed this one this morning, and I was just too busy doing too many other things, and wheat didn't open until late today because of the fact that everything else was open except the grains. But you know the high we made on uh, Friday – the, uh, you'll notice we hit the exact 382 retracement at 799 and three quarters. That was a 382 retracement of the high that we made way back here. You can see it. I just marked it on there. And now we've broken 22 cents from that high. That's telling you this is a major ABCD in this level right here. So we're watching that one for a retracement level. Right now, the way that retracement level sets, it's right at 7. Let's just double check it. It's 17. Uh oh, excuse me, seven. <laughs> it's 780. Uh, 781 is a number. It's trading at 776 right now. So watch 781 in the March wheat. That would be a low risk, uh, short sale uh, on our, in our opinion, and that's what we're going to be looking at uh, as we watch these things coming through now. And we've got a break coming up relatively shortly in about a minute. Or so. so if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. Also, at the end of the year, you can always check to see what, what famous people we've lost over the year. And I was really surprised that Jerry Lee Lewis passed away on uh, July 29th. I, I wasn't aware of that. I, I met the killer once down there in Memphis at Beale, on Beale Street at, one, at some of the caf, one cafe there that was very famous. Early in the morning, he came in and he bought breakfast for everybody. And uh, we went out and looked at his. He was driving a 57 powder blue uh, Cadillac Eldorado. Boy, was it a beauty. And uh, it was just absolutely spotless. And we went out and looked at it. And he was really proud of that car. And anyway, listen, we'll get back to you in just a minute. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. 
David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the natural gas. This is the one from the newsletter because uh, we felt that if it was not going to hold that four, four, key $4 level, that it was definitely going to go down another ten grand down to you know $3 level. Remember, we started at 106 you know, way back here several years ago. And you can look at the big ABCD. Now, what's so difficult about that? You know, that, that's, that's just ABCD right up there at $10. I mean... And you know, anybody could see that, and you rally down, and then you rally up to a 61% retracement, and that ABCD is going to take you down to three dollars, and it uh, looks like three dot three oh seven is what it looks like. So that's uh, that's all I do is I go to the next one and move on. I don't don't really uh, fester too much on whether it's going to be uh, moving along. We just got an instant message from one of our friends down in Texas, and reminding me that uh, Mr. Um, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis uh, married his 13-year-old cousin. Of course, they were uh, second cousins, but I know they were first cousins. That's right. Anyway, it, the important part about Jerry Lee Lewis, he had his his uh, mother had two famous sisters, and one of them gave birth to Jimmy Swaggart, you know, the guy from the uh, um, religious thing, and also Mill Mickey Gilly, the real famous uh, country and western. They were all first cousins. Anyway. Uh, Jerry Lee passed away on July 29th, 29th in the uh, accompaniment of his seventh wife after seven pints. I can remember I met, uh, well, it's hard to bring some of these up, but Mickey Rooney I lived in Westlake Village, and my wife, my wife, my mother always wanted to meet him, so I arranged a meeting, and uh, he had been married 11 times, folks, and uh, Boy, what a nice young, what a nice fellow he was. So he's a really nice fellow. And but that doesn't hold the record. The hold the record holder is someone from here in Tucson, Arizona. Those of you that like cowboys, his name was Lash Larue, and Lash was married 13 times. And uh, I don't want to get into that. Let's move on to the next one here. We're watching this natural gas for some more action to the downside. Uh, that's one of the things that we're paying close attention to. And then also. Uh, the, the bond market's having a pretty good rally, folks. This is what is really nothing more than a dead cat bounce in the, uh, you know, in the in the natural in the treasury bonds. We're waiting for a, uh, you know, what is what we call a uh, a nice little reversal pattern in that area. And remember, those of you that get the newsletter and the videos and stuff, I've been focusing on the Chinese market that's been in a rally phase. And also the Hang Seng in Hong Kong, also in a rally phase. And they those should be ending up very, very shortly. Uh, Hang Seng was up really strong today in the, in, in the 
face of all this other stuff that's been going on over here. So these these markets act differently because they are different markets. So we've we've focused on those just to show you that they are different. And you know, one we've been going down, they've been going up. So you got to trade what you see, not what you think. Thinking gets you in more doggone problems around this business than just about anything you can possibly uh, even imagine. The reason why I am so bullish gold, folks, is this next chart that was given to us by uh, Rich Anderson. This comes from Bloomberg, but it basically shows you where the gold has been going over these past uh, seven or eight months in the market here. Look at this. You see, these are the central banks buying the gold, folks. Look how much they've bought here. Look at that compared to what they've done over the last 15 years. They know something that's out there. I don't know. I'm going to spend um, a minute or two on cryptocurrencies because, uh, as you know, John Jameson, you know, writes the newsletter with me uh, every week to uh, trade what you see. But he has, he has one other specialty, and he happens to know cryptocurrencies. He's been involved with them from the very end. He's been very bearish for a long time. He really believes we're getting ready for a big washout now due to Sam Bankman Fried. And uh, the other guy is just a sailor. And uh, Mike, Michael Saylor, uh, they think they're going to hurt those guys uh, with their positions. And then when that's all washed out, then it's going to offer some really great opportunities for some of these uh, cryptocurrencies or blockchains, whatever you want to call them. Uh, he believes that uh, this is for real. And I have to believe it, too, because the, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange would not have put these in to their portfolios and give you futures contracts and stuff if they weren't really assured that these things were legitimate. That's the thing that I go by. And they, those boys over there in Chicago know flat out how this stuff actually works. So uh, pay attention to that. Uh, we'll be watching that you know, quite, a, quite closely here. Uh, if we get an opportunity where there's a big break, we're going to look at some, some of these things uh, for the trade what you see, folks, because they really – uh, when they when they happen, you don't have to risk very much. If you're going to buy a dollar stock, you only have to risk 50 cents. And if that dollar stock used to sell at 40, well, maybe it'll go back 20 percent. Well, that's a huge turn. So these are some of the ones that we're watching here uh, at the beginning of the year. But uh, someone's asked again about the trade of the year in coffee, and I haven't looked at it in five or six days. I guess I can do it right now. So hold on just a second, and I'll – I'll bring it up to see if we can get a coffee chart up here. And I'll tell you, because we were looking to buy it at 155, and I don't know whether it went lower or higher. We're going to know here in the one, two, three, bada bing, bada boom. We're 166 right now. We got as high as 174. I'll bring the chart up, and you'll see uh, the little ABCD pattern that is formed here. And uh, But I I don't do it, these trade, uh, trade of the years anymore. Because they're just too much to follow and too many questions. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? And I, all I'm doing is basically pattern recognition, swing trading, folks. Keep it as simple as possible. Uh, keep your you know, focus on what you need to do. Always focusing on how much money you can lose, not how much money you can make. And you're going to be far, far better off uh, than most people. Those are the main things that we're, we're going to be focusing on. Like we did all last year. We had a great year. Uh, here at uh, Tiger uh, TV and the TFNN and also for the 24-7 folks. We had some, we've been bearish uh, bonds for two years. Uh, we were very, very stocks from January 4th when we made the three drive to a top pattern. And so these are things that we hope to continue with, you know, through the rest of this year. And we'll have some great guests on, but we do have a new guest on Thursday. Mike Moore, try to stay tuned if you can and listen to him because he's very entertaining i've spent some time with him you know to see if uh, this kind of stuff that you guys will like and i know you will so he he knows the oil market backwards and forwards so that'll be fun to uh listen to him and of course we have shane on friday and then tomorrow we have um jeff huge always very good and you know he's been super super bearish as was stan harley we met stan over the weekend uh, up on the 28th of uh, December, we got to meet him up in Phoenix, have uh, breakfast with him and or lunch with him, and we had a really nice chat. I uh, hadn't seen him in 30 years. Or, no, it's been 20 years, uh, the last cycle meeting uh, down in, uh, in Orange County. But uh, anyway, that's what we're watching here today. We're going to take a little break here now, and we're going to come back, and we will uh, uh, hold in. What happened to my uh, timer? Uh-oh, I'm in trouble now. Well, 
Sorry, Al, I don't know what I did wrong, but I guess I'm going to be okay here in just a few seconds. I only got a few seconds to go. 877-927-6648. We'll come back. I'm going to show you what I think is the most important thing to watch, and uh, we'll be very mindful of that when we get done with that. So we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, this next chart comes from our good friend over in uh, the UK. Uh, and I wanted to uh, give some acknowledgement to Alizaki because he is really a great uh, technician and a real student of the market. You'll notice here these parallel channels that he has. He has a program called Wave 59 that he tells it what to look for as far as the highs and lows. And then it matches it. And then as you can see by the dotted lines and the others, how they line up just about perfectly. Uh, along this level here and this is what we're watching here is we're watching a market that's bearish in nature ever since January 4th you can see we have lower highs all the way through here so that's a tell us that we're still heading down now he's looking for around 3320 
around the 21st to the 27th of March. That's a pretty wide band, but when you're looking at a weekly chart, that's only one week. So we're going to be watching that. That's around the, the, uh, the spring solstice, around the 21st. So that'll be very interesting to pay attention to. And by then, we might even have some more ABCD patterns coming in here, lining it up to you know our, what our projection would be, which would be around that 30, 30, 3100, 3200 area, which is very close to what he's looking at. So uh, it's important to remember, folks, we are in a downtrend in these markets right here. We had a chance with that big thing that was happening on the 28th of December, but that has failed, folks. Now, someone may ask, is it seven days off? No, they cannot be more than three or four days off. And that's the most we've ever seen, uh, at least Jimmy and I have ever, Jim Twentyman and I have ever seen when we were doing these studies on these. They're usually within three days on either side of that. So you only got about a day and a half on each side. So they work right away or they don't work. This one looked beautiful. Look, we, we had a 109 to 124 in Tesla in two days, and now we're 108. Hello, operator. That's not a good sign, is it? So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with our guest is Jeff Huge. We'll see you, folks.